Say homes family, what's good? It's your boy here Rashad with another video. Um, and today I just kind of want to vent, just take the time out and and enlighten you guys, let you guys know why I've been MIA. You know, I've been in a lot of messages, you know, asking, you know, where I'm at, what's going on, you know, give us some updates, you know, all of that, all of the above. So uh, before I start, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and check out the last videos if you haven't already checked those out. Now, before I get into this whole vent thing, you know, I do want to put it out there that I am changing the male, female to male. So for those of you who do not like it, don't respect it, you know, you can go ahead and exit the video right now. And for those of you who, you know, want to continue watching, um, I thank you. I respect that. I love you guys. I love you guys no matter what, but you know, yeah, let me get the picture. So, uh, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I have been behind, you know, the phone. I'm on my phone right now currently. Um, and just talk to you guys and let you guys know what's going on with me and my life and everything. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I have time today and we're going to get with it. So, um, life, man, life. Um, I'm taking the time out today because I'm pretty sure, you know, I wasn't or I am not the only person that has went through this. You understand? And a lot of people, they don't speak on things that they go through, but it's very important, man. It's very, very, very important that. You know, you communicate, you open up to things that you're going through because you can reach out to somebody else. Somebody else who's going through it, they can reach back out to you. You know, communication is key. It's key. It's not just in, in a relationship or in, in a, you know, in a household with family. It's throughout the world, man. It's communication is really good for you. So I'm, um, I'm open up today and just tell you guys, you know, what I struggle with and, and, it's real life situations, man, and you know, it can make or break a person if you're not, if you don't have a mind frame to, you know, be strong and and push through. Stay prayed up, stay prayed up. You know, no matter who you believe in, you know, that's not important. The important thing is that you you pray and you have your faith. You understand? I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm by far perfect. You understand? So continue to stay prayed up and 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 have your most high faith. And whomever, you understand? So, uh, hmm. So, with me being changing the mail, it's first of all, it's, it's hard out here being uh, a black man. So, it's, it's twice, three times, four times, five times as much harder as being a trans man on top of that, of color, you understand? And, you know, I try to get the best advice that I can to people that, that come to me, you know, who may be feeling certain ways, you know. Uh, yeah, first off, this isn't something that I just woke up one day and said, hey, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to try this out. This look, yeah, this look cool. You know, it's not like that. You understand? This is something that I have always known for a very, very long time. This is something that I was afraid to open up about because I, I didn't know how family would take it. You know, I didn't want to disappoint nobody. I didn't want to be judged. You know, I didn't, I didn't, it was so much emotions that I just kind of hid it. You know, I, I just kind of try to force other things, you know, try to make myself do or be something that I wasn't. You understand? Um, and the more, the more I fake it, you know, you got to fake it till you make it. You understand? The more I was unhappy, depressed. Not living my life. When you when you try to live your life for someone else, you're gonna forever be miserable and unhappy and depressed. You're gonna have anxiety because you're living your life for somebody else and it's never gonna be enough for them. There's gonna always be something else and something else. It's never enough. You understand? So live your life for you. Be happy for you. And you're gonna have those people who who try to tell you what's right and what's wrong, 
what you can and what you can't do, you know. Those people are, are, you know, toxic people, you know, bad energy people. And you need to isolate yourself from those people. You understand? Because this is your life and you have to live your life and you have to be happy with it. You have to do what makes you happy. You understand? And if those people are not on board with you, if those people can't respect that, if they can be at least happy for you, that you are happy, then what are they there for? Why are you allowing them to be a part of your life if they bring you down? And that's something that I had to pray about. That's something that I had to accept. I, and, and it took everything in me to accept it because when you love somebody, you know, you love them. You know, you give you give your all for them. So to see that, that you know, you know what I'm saying, that they can't return that to you, it hurts you. It puts you in in a in, in a, uh, a the wrong headspace. You understand? It puts you somewhere that you would never thought you you would be at. And you know, God just kept telling me. You know, He kept putting me through. I was I was getting one step ahead, and I kept getting knocked down. It was everything was hitting me. Everything was hitting me, and I felt like, damn, I cannot win for losing. I cannot. Like, why? Like, what is it? What is it? And I keep trying to bring these people in my circle that God doesn't want me to have around me because they are bringing me down. They are disrespectful. You understand? They mean no good to me. You understand? They 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 unhealthy for me. And I'm and I'm keep trying to give them chance after chance after chance. You have to let those people go. You know. And I feel like God is not gonna bless you. Excuse me. He's not gonna bless me if I don't. Isolate myself from that negative energy. If I keep bringing that into my circle, I can't. I'm missing my blessings. I can't get my blessings. You know, so I had to do something about that. And as much as it hurt me, and it's and you know it's gonna hurt. It's gonna continue to hurt because I love them. I do, but they they not they're not doing anything for me but bringing me down. So what's their what's their purpose? You know. I had to just sit. I had to just, hmm, you know, what What are you getting out of making me sad? What are you getting out of making me feel less of a human being? You know, where's the love? You feel me? Where's the respect? So it had to, to be both ways, you know? It had to be both ways, and, and it wasn't. So I had to realize that, and I had to be firm, you know, when I tell them, hey, you know, cause I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give anyone that, you know, that, Hey, this is what it is. I need you to respect that. And once I constantly see that, you know, that wasn't, they just, it's a spit in the face, you know, like I have to let you go. Cause at the end of the day, you're going to understand at the end, I'm, I'm a good person. I will always be a good person. And it wasn't my loss. It's their loss. You feel me? So if you're going through the same thing or something similar, you know, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about who you are. Don't feel bad about, you know what I'm saying, letting them go. You know, be happy, man. Be happy. Live your life. They're going to come around. They're going to come around. And it's up to you, you know what I'm saying, to love them back in or not. You know, once they realize, hey, I'm sorry, and they apologize and things like that, that's up to you. You feel me? I'm not here to tell you don't let them back in, things like that. I'm just here to let people know what's been going on with me and what I have and what I had to do to to heal, to to get myself in a good headspace, to get myself back happy, you know, you know, cut all the stress, cut all the depression, cut all that, cut everything out. So that's why I haven't been giving you guys any updates, giving you guys any videos period yeah i just had to make sure that i'm good you know make sure that hey okay <sighs> breathe you good you're happy focus you know remember why you know remember who you are you know don't let somebody try to mold you into something that they want you to be you understand so um but i'm i'm definitely happy you know, I'm happy. I can't be more happier. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm living, man. I'm living for me. 
And that's the most important thing a person can do is enjoy their happiness and live their life for them and, and no one else. You understand? So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Um, if you guys want me to make more videos, go ahead and comment anything you want to make a video about and I'll try to get on that. But until next time, it's your boy Rashad Holmes and I'm out.